What's up everyone, this is Lot Talkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can take your Apple Music app to the next level and give it a new night mode and a new look. On top of that, a cool iPod theme as well, just in case you want to get that retro look on your iOS device. And the best part is you do not need a jailbreak. So the first few features on this app that I just want to cover are pretty cool. So you got a really nice UI and you can even change what is on your home screen. So you can do this in Apple Music, but you just have, I guess, a different interface inside of this app. You can even choose a light theme or a dark theme. So this is what the light theme looks like. Personally, I would not really use this light theme. You might as well just use the normal Apple Music, but it's got some really good categories. You can listen to your recently added music. You can even shuffle all of it, which I really like. Apple Music doesn't even do that so it's really cool because you can play all the most recent songs downloaded in a playlist you can also have cool gestures if you swipe down all the way from the bottom and hold you can go ahead and search any song in your library and on top of that it's got some really cool haptic feedback and I just really want to show you guys that later on in the video so you can see you got some really cool categories like that it, your music is like organized very well and you can see you got albums and songs up top but taking a look at the dark theme I gotta say that this is the main reason why I switched to the app. So I just love the way the theme looks on my iPhone 10 with the AMOLED display. I think it looks amazing. Now they do have another theme, the black theme, which is like a complete night mode taking advantage of the OLED display. The dark theme is more of a gray. So I feel like the gray theme will be better used on devices that are not OLED, but the dark mode will be used on OLED devices, if that makes sense. So what's really cool is this actually shares the same library as your Apple Music. So if you add a song in here, it'll actually add to your Apple Music library. So this is basically Apple Music just with a different UI. It's not like it's a separate app that you have to have a separate ID or you know, you don't have to download your songs again. It's like it's not like a copy of Apple Music. It's literally just changing the way you use it, if that makes sense. What's really cool is if you change the volume as well, you can see that at the very top, it gets rid of that center screen volume HUD, which is very annoying. So that's very convenient that the app has that instead of what Apple Music has, which is just the annoying volume HUD. So in order to get this, you're going to have to visit their website and just tap on Get the Beta. It's currently not released yet, but all you have to do is just tap on Yes, if you have Apple Music and iOS 12 or above, you can type in your email and then of course they will send you an email within a couple of business days. That's how long it took for me and you're just going to want to have the app test flight on your iOS device and if you click the link they send you in the email, you should be able to open up test flight. It'll do it automatically and all you have to do is just click on install. You you might have to type in your Apple ID, but other than that the app will be free. So I'm pretty sure it might be paid if you were to get it on the App Store, but it's currently not out on the App Store as far as I know. So next I'm gonna be showing you how you can get this really cool iPod classic design on your iPhone. And again, it shares your Apple Music library, so you're not gonna have to manually add your songs like using a traditional music app. So this is gonna be really cool. This is mainly just gonna be if you like retro Apple products. And I gotta say, I actually really loved using this. So this is just kind of cool, maybe a party trick or something. I don't know if that's the case, it's a lame party, but Basically, you can view all your songs as if it were like a normal iPod. It's got the search by artist. You can even search by searching the alphabet. Like if you guys remember using an iPod, you'd have to tap on the search icon. You have to type in each letter with the scroll wheel. You can even do that, which is pretty cool. So it does have a dark mode for dark devices and then a light mode for a lighter iOS device, the one with the white bezel. And what's cool is you can have the sound effects if you turn off your ringer. Now this one has haptic feedback, which is pretty cool, just like the other app. So in order to get this, what you want to do is just go to Ignition, tap on use their web one instead of downloading the actual app. You can just go to tap on all apps and then from here you want to tap on the search bar and then just type in classic player. So if you type in class, it should just come up and then go ahead and tap on get. And then from here you're going to get a pop up on your screen. Just go ahead and tap on install and then you should have the app installing. So it shouldn't take too long. And I got to say, I actually enjoyed using this. Like it wasn't a pain in the butt to actually use the app. I didn't mind it. It wasn't like really annoying to use. It actually was very easy to use so this could actually replace your music app if you really just want to have that classic ipod look it's mainly just for enthusiasts i wouldn't really recommend it to someone who doesn't care but yeah that's about it for today thank you so much for watching and as always peace